do 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 Welcome back to Zoo Crafting! Hello everybody and welcome back to Zoo Crafting. I am Zookeeper Siri and we are once again back in our amazing world. We are still at Relic Ruins, right where we left off. And for you guys, you have just seen the beauty that is Relic Ruins yesterday. And for me, I have not been back in Relic Ruins for over a week, a week! It has been so long since I have been back on the server and back in our world and I've been off visiting my sister for her wedding and it was beautiful and amazing I'm so happy to be back and oh my goodness oh my goodness I forgot how cool a relic ruin looks oh my gosh and I just noticed that I think Ben put a refrigerator in here because he built most of the stands you can kind of tell like which stalls he made and which stalls I made and he put a fridge and a stove over here oh my gosh that's so funny I might put like some sort of backdrop to it so you're not staring at the fridge coils while you're looking at the amazing Colosseum that we have over here but I thought we'd spend another day here in Relic Ruins because we kind of zipped through it really quickly last time and I actually had a lot of fun Ooh, look at Titus fish Fresh fish! Put something good in your pot tonight! Fresh fish! So Titus is offering up some fresh fish and actually I wonder if we can go fishing like right in here. There's a whole bunch of fish swimming around in here and it would actually be really cool if I could just like fish some of them out of here. What? No, we don't need to put it there. We'll never get the house built if we do. Beautiful rare flowers. Add an exotic splash to your gardens. Oh, I love being in the market and just like all of the NPCs are constantly talking to each other and bringing our world to life. To life. And that's actually something I want to be doing here in Relic Ruins pretty soon. But first things first, let's feed the puppies. I know you guys have all been here. Let's see, we'll give them a little bit of ostrich. You guys have all been here just yesterday, but I'm super excited because I'm like, woo, I'm back in Relic Ruins. I haven't been here in a while. It's so cool. What's going on? How did I pick up this dodo egg? Yay! And basically having a great time. And it's just so pretty. Oh, my goodness. And there's an owl. I hear an owl. I hear an owl, you guys, but yes, so I am back from my little trip with my sister or to my sister's wedding. It was absolutely amazing. Let's grab the boys. Let's do a little bit of walking. I'm actually kind of curious at what is around Relic Ruins because I am so in the mood. We went to an art museum that had a lot of Roman artwork in it. Ash, do be careful. That had a lot of Roman artwork in it and that had a lot of artwork from uh, like the Assyrians, which is amazing because the Assyrians only lasted like 200 years as Darling, AKA Chips, we're gonna start calling Darling Chips now, uh, said they were kind of a flash in the pan. Basically, we saw a ton of this old, old style artwork and it got me super duper duper excited for being able to expand all of our villages and all of the places in our entire world, which would be really fun just to incorporate more art, more culture, kind of like the way Alex's place really has a lot of detail and a lot of little snippets of a whole different culture than we used to. So it gave me lots of ideas for Relic Ruins at building more temples, at trying to show off more of what you would have expected from ancient Rome, especially in regards to how they treated animals. And most of us know about the Colosseum, the bloody Colosseum's pine. Let's do a little bit of exploring for plants while we talk but you know a lot of people know about the coliseums and i'm familiar with those as well and there's a tiger so here is a good example of something you probably could have found in rome because they would import so many exotic animals like tigers for example certain species of lion actually went extinct because just thousands and thousands and thousands of them were used over the years uh please don't eat us tiger in like the Colosseum battles and I don't really want to like duplicate that kind of history from Rome but Rome actually has a very long history with animals like dogs um a lot of history with like elephants apparently and I looked this up because I was curious about it today while thinking about relic ruins and building some things that would be examples for animals here but apparently it would be stylish if you were super wealthy in Rome to ride to the Colosseum or other events on the back of an elephant to show off your wealth. And that just made me think, how cool would it be if we had a bunch of like the fancy uh, Roman villas built to have like wealthy traders who would have shops throughout our entire world of the server and they might have an elephant in their front yard and like an elephant keeper. Maybe you could buy like the elephant poop from them. That would be so cool. It just seems like so many opportunities for different things we could add in over here. So, you know, let's just take a peek around Relic Ruins. And what do you guys think of when you think of, oh, it's a turtle. It's a turtle. Oh, do I have any spare safari nets? I want to take him. I don't think I can actually take the turtle, though, because if I try to pick him up, he's just going to go on my head. Can I, can I put a safari net? 
<gasps> I got him in a safari net. We have a new turtle. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm going to take him. Now. I'm going to put him next to our little lake that we're working on building. This is fantastic. But yeah, what do you guys think about when you think of Rome? Because I actually think about the um, the big, beautiful cattle, the big, uh, especially like the white bulls that they would use in uh, sacrifices uh, for like the temples and things like that. All right, here's a little desert. Oh, look, it's a little dog. And actually, apparently they had a lot of dogs too, including small pet dogs that you could like put up in your arms, uh, fit into your arms. Okay, there's two, three dogs. Okay, our puppies are doing okay. Let's go this ouch way. I walked right across that cactus. Why did I do that? Well, let's go this way and kind of look around here. Oh my gosh, there's so many dogs over here. But yeah, I learned that like ancient Rome had like a lot of hunting dogs. And this is a giant... Oh my gosh! And ostriches. I learned that Rome had a lot of ostriches and horses. Very specific breeds of horses that were super important. So we can try to get those guys out of there in the future. Um, and just have all sorts of... of Mm. <gasps> That's a wild squirrel. I've never seen a wild squirrel. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I've got to go get that squirrel. Come here. Come here, little squirrel. Come here. Come here. Get in here. Get in here. Somebody let a wild squirrel loose and it is my squirrel now and we are going to build a little like home for it back in Zudesia. This is going to be awesome. But yeah, basically my trip was amazing. I went and I saw my little sister get married. It was fantastic. We're just going to take a peek down here. It was fantastic. I sobbed. I didn't think I was going to cry because a wedding's a happy thing. Why would you cry at a wedding? And there I am just like bawling my eyes out. Ash, Pine, and Tate. And Chips, aka Darling. We're going to start calling Darling Chips so you guys don't have to call him Darling anymore. And it's Chips because he likes playing poker. Um, which I'm told has chips in it. There's a white tiger. So, you know, there's all sorts of fancy things over here. A lot of guard dogs, too, which was really cool. Um, let's just go wander around here. I want to work our way into the big Coliseum today. Just so we can kind of peek around, see what's going on around here. Apparently, there's a little walkway down here. Ooh, looks kind of nice. Ooh, look at this. Oh, look, there's a uh, panther over there. Now, this is pretty. So, this is Port Orno or Port Oro or Interesting, interesting. There's a lot of marble. So, you know, it'd be fun to expand Relic Ruins and have, like, a marble salesperson that you could just come and buy a ton of marble or rare things from. Kind of bring to life in our own way, in our own versions, a little bit of ancient Rome here in our server. And that's kind of what the fun... What's over there? Oh, I think that's actually, like, the little community farm. Mara's been saying she's going to redo it pretty soon, too. Oh, my gosh, and there's a cheetah there. Oh, my gosh. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's the community farm. I had no idea it was that close. That's adorable. Let's go over and look at the big coliseum that Ben built because we haven't really uh, properly looked at it just yet. There's a mole and there's a giant cavern. Okay, wow. There's a lot of exploring we could do over here. We'll have to remember that. But yeah, I think it'd be fun to bring a little bit of ancient Rome to life here in our world because that trip was so cool. I love traveling. I went to the St. Louis Zoo. I went to the Kansas City Zoo. There's a little bee. That's adorable. The bee like built its way into the tree. That is so cute for some reason. But yeah, I went to the Kansas City and St. Louis Zoo. St. Louis Zoo definitely is my favorite zoo I've ever been to. They're totally on top of it in so many ways. It was fantastic. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Um, wow, this is pretty over here too. Lots of cows. You know, the cattle are supposed to be a big thing for ancient Rome too. So that's kind of, I keep talking about ancient Rome because, wow, look at the size of this, this building. We're going to, it's called the Pantheon, uh, Ben told me. So we're going to have to swim our way into it, it seems. This is interesting. And I love how we have the relics here. So I really assume that it's going to have like a lot of museums. Wow, it's so big. Oh my goodness. How is it? It's just huge. This is so cool. But yeah, when we went, we also went to the art museum, the Nielsen Adkins Art Museum, and there's a creeper. Um, all right, that, that did it. That did it. It, that was like the best thing I had on hand to handle the creeper. Look at the size of this thing. This is amazing. But we went to the Nielsen Atkins Art Museum and it made me realize how fun it is just to study all of the different cultures. And especially because we're zoo crafting, we could study the different cultures and how they interact with the animals or they did and learn even more, not only about the modern animals and what we're doing with them, Ash. You're a little impatient, Ash. Hang in there. But historical ideas of what they did with animals back then that wasn't just all for meat and like livestock but how they lived how they took care of them what animals they bred i think that would be really fun and going to the museum especially because chips aka darling is a history professor 
we talked and talked and talked and talked and looked at things like this at the museum and that is why I am inspired and we're going to expand relic ruins and don't worry we're going to get back to zoo crafting tomorrow and we will start building in zoo crafting because we have so much to do all over the entire world but I just wanted to know what you guys thought of when you think of Rome when you think of ancient Rome um even things that we can kind of put our own spin on to examine like maybe have like a temple full of cats that could be like an import from a desert place kind of like a Egypt and worshiping um, the idea of cats, if not cats themselves. What is going on in here? Wow. Ben, what have you built? Look at the carpeting he put down. Oh my goodness. I forgot what we're supposed to do here. I, I'm i really kind of blown away. I feel like we need to put something like some sort of... Oh my gosh. I feel like we need to put like some sort of... a. Uh, a trophy room or like hall of fame in here i'm gonna have to ask him what he was building the pantheon for because this is pretty cool i mean look at the size of this and look at all the carpeting that is amazing i didn't even know we could mix carpets that way tate ash fine this is so cool this is so cool but yeah like having little temples all over the place or even temples made up um for our own like made up minecrafty and things that would be really fun so there's a, definitely a lot we could do in the world. And all the little villagers are safely hemmed in. I'm glad. Hello. Hello. Hi, you guys. Hi, you guys. How you doing? And yeah, so that's just my little spiel. Oh, my gosh. There's diamonds. They threw diamonds at me. Give me the diamonds. May I, may I please have the diamonds? Oh, I got the diamond. All right. Um, did I get anything else? Oh, look. They're just throwing all this food because they, they see my dogs. Hello, everybody. Hello. Thank you. All right, wonderful. Oh, there's some pork there. Okay, can I have that pork? Um, I need to get in to be able to get the pork. Let's see if we can get in. And I'll snag that pork for my dogs. All right, don't mind me. I'll cover this back up in just a second. Don't you guys escape now. All right, just stay there for a second. All right, let me see if I can just jump my way back out. All right, there we go. Okay. And a whole bunch of pork and cake on the ground. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, villagers. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay, can I get out of here? All right, let's see. Um, actually, if I could get out of here, then they could get out of here. So let's just go ahead and go out this way. All right, how are you, sir? What do you trade? He trades cooked pork chops. He trades a single-use safari net. Very, very cool. Very cool. Iverson does that for me back at home. All right, Pine, you took my you took my stuff. The villagers can get out now, Pine. This is bad. Uh, you're gonna really no villagers. No. Oh my gosh. Here, get back in. No, oh gosh. Oh goodness. Oh goodness gracious. Now I have to use the carpet that I bought at La Paz to like shove villagers back in. Oh man, puppies. You took pine. You I, I love you, but you took my stuff and now we have like loose villagers. And what the heck do you even sell, sir? Miso. That is so interesting. So he'll give us like miso paste. All right, I need to get him back like up in here. All right, he's back there. And we have a stray villager. Sir, I don't want you to have an unexpected death. You guys are quarantined for your own well-being. He gives mystery safari nets. Too bad the mystery safari nets are broken. Maybe one day we can, like, figure out a way to set up a trade so it's fixed. There. All right, that's taken care of. I'm going to grab a couple pieces of dirt and get my carpet back. Oh, gosh. Pine, I love you. <laughs> He's stealing all my stuff. But, yeah, there's my little spiel about what I want to do with Relic Ruins and how we want to start working on the different villages throughout our entire world because that's what we really want to start doing is connecting up the villages, really getting, like, cool NPC quests and trade set up that all of us are kind of surprised by because who knows what the other person has set up. It's going to be absolutely awesome. And I actually had a lot of fun because when it was on earlier, when I was just kind of like, where am I? I haven't been on Minecraft in a week. What's going on? She was on and she was like, do you have any, do you have any rice? Because I have this kind of rice, but it's not what I need to make the rice that I'm like going for. And I was able to go, Win, come over to Relic Ruins. We have a rice trader. And she came over and she was so excited because it was exactly what she needed to be able to come on down to Merchant Rico. And thank you guys so much because you pointed out that I had her trade set up incorrectly, so I fixed it. And you can come over to Merchant Rico and you can go ahead and trade like the PMP rice, uh, the plant mega pack rice for the normal rice uh, that you use for harvest craft. Or you could just buy the harvest craft rice from her or the plant mega pack rice from her or the wild rice if that's what you wanted to do. Or you can even buy some of the rice sacks that uh, I think, what are the rice sacks you used in? 
What the heck are the rice sacks using? Let's do that. Rice, rice, rice. Rice sacks and uses. Nothing. Wash trays? What? You're really not using anything? What? what do, why do I even have that rice available then? Who knows? Who knows? What? No, none of my things are working. Are you, are you really? What? Okay, apparently I have somehow... Oh, I think I have to be out. Oh. All right, uses. That's better. All right, so these rice sacks can be used to make like minced chicken and rice, uh, a whole bunch of ingredients of the different foods. You can also use it to make it a rice bucket um, and a whole bunch of other stuff like the shapeless crafting. You can turn it into a ton of different things. So she was very excited to see that. And it was really fun to be able to show it off to her. Pine, for crying out loud, buddy, don't push the rice off the counter. That's rude. But it was so fun to be able to show it off to her. So that was fantastic. I'm trying to think if I need to buy anything while we're here. Um, oh yeah, Fisher Titus! So, Fisher Titus, I showed you guys last time, but I just love that we can come over and trade, like, the turtle to him for a turtle spawn egg. Oh man, now it's raining. But we can also do that with our new snapping turtle. And you guys have given me so many ideas. Oh my gosh, and I saw so many fish. And I saw so many cool things at the zoos when we were out in Kansas City and St. Louis that gave me ideas for zoo crafting. Sorry if I'm a little scattered. It like takes a little bit to slip back into it after having been away for a week. But I'm just so happy to be back here with my puppies and seeing ostriches and like... Ostrich, carrot, and sweet potato mash actually sounds like something they may have eaten in Rome. So that might be like a delicacy. What if there are different doggy delicacies depending on like where we are in the world? So different villages could sell different specialty items for the dogs too. I love it. I love it. That would be so fun. Or imagine coming here and getting like a special breed of Roman dog or something like that. We're going to have a really great time. We just are, and we always do that in zoo crafting. All right, let me go ahead and grab the last safari net, and then I'm going to collect my puppies, and we're going to head on home, you guys, and tomorrow we are going to get to work. Come here, Ash, come here. All right, tomorrow we are going to get hard at work with being able to get the zoo really up and going and hopefully finish the Tate and Tackle because I want to see some stuff done. I want to get more exhibits done. I'm feeling pumped. I had a great time. Let's go pick those figs and maybe trade for some rare plants. I'm feeling pumped. I had a great time. I'm so excited to be home. I'm so excited to be back. I'm so excited to be flooded with ideas. But what good is being flooded with ideas if we never get anything done? That's what I ask you. Hmm? Hmm? What good is it? What a good is it, Akiko? So we're definitely going to try to get some stuff done. All right. I'm going to come over to the florist. And I think I wanted to buy some stuff from her. Look at all those beautiful clover patches. <gasps> that would be so fun. And then we've got the darker cherry saplings, magic sapling, jacaranda sapling, persimmon sapling, a flowering vines, the wisteria vines, um, the dahlias, the lavender. Oh, man, they're so pretty. The pink daffodils. Um, I think I'm going to grab, well, I have wisteria vines and flowering vines. I'm going to grab just a few flowering vines because I can't remember where I put them. And then I'm going to grab just a couple of the different kinds of cherry saplings. Just because I can never remember where the heck I stuck those. And then you know what? I'm going to spend the rest of my money on clover patches. Just because we're at Relic Ruins, we might as well do the shopping. And let's teleport ourselves home and see how home has done without us. I am so excited to be going back to the zoo. I know we've been traveling a lot the last week because I was traveling a lot. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. In the ground. Let's wait for everything to come back. I'm home! Look at the snow! It's still snowing at my home! I'm so excited! How many? How many darlings is that now? What? I'm gonna have to get to the bottom. Oh, and there's mail to check in the morning! Oh, dear. Alright, easy loading there. Easy loading there. Sorry about the lag, guys. Oh, that's better. Ah, really? Really? Am I home now? Is it gonna let me be home? I think it's gonna let me be home. Look at this beautiful, beautiful cherry tree. Nope. Not gonna let me be home. Oh gosh, hang on a second. Ha! There we go. Sorry about that. Sometimes that happens when you first come into my area because we're on top of a highlands and we've got so much stuff everywhere. But we are back in the zoo, you guys. I had a fantastic trip visiting with my family. I am ready to be back in Zoodesia and ready to start teaching you guys some amazing things about the animals of our world, past and present. Maybe even some hints at the future and even hints at the mythological and at the creatures that we make up in our beautiful world of Minecraft with all of its unique creatures. But yeah, I'm just so excited to start going over all of that with you guys again. And just sharing our adventures, our world, letting our animals be happy, getting to the mystery, uh, the bottom of the mystery of the mini darlings that are apparently roaming around now. Oh gosh, I don't even know what I'm going to do about that. 
and getting building because like I said, I I love having all of the amazing ideas we do for like things to build in Relic Ruins and everything else that we have going on. But what's the point of having all those ideas if we don't get anything done? So tomorrow, back to getting some stuff done. We'll be working over at the Titan Tackle, trying to get that completed so we can have the little fish museum and get Dr. Nami moved in so we can start buying fish from him and seeing the rest of the zoo really start falling into place, especially now that we caught a forest squirrel. I think it's going to be fun. Like we should make the forest squirrel like a little exhibit somewhere down by the entrance. I think that's going to be a really fun little thing to do too. And it looks like it's about time to go and harvest up those plants. Maybe we'll share the bounty with our friends, make some fun food. Ah. Oh. There's always so much to do at the zoo, and I am so excited and so happy to be back here with all of you guys. So thank you guys. Thank you for your patience while I was on my vacation and saw my sister get married. I cried. It was awesome. You can see a little vlog update I did, and I will see you guys tomorrow when we will get back on track for working in the zoo, and we will get back on track for talking about the amazing animals we might see. Why is there something that says small gift over my door? We're also going to have to see what's going on at our house, so I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.